being a high achiever, it is so easy to get caught up and focusing on what isn't going well or what is short of perfect. Um, but oftentimes there are so many good things that are actually happening in our lives. And I was in a circle discussion with a bunch of other CEOs and presidents who are running their own organizations. And we got to a very personal topic. And uh, we were talking about this concept of feeling whole. Sometimes we're sprinting, but it feels like we're sprinting on a treadmill. And so we're not actually going anywhere. And we started to unpack what does it look and feel like to really be whole? How do we make peace with that for ourselves? And so the question this week of what does being whole look and feel like was actually inspired from that uh, discussion that we were all having. And I didn't have a better way to do this than to actually journal. So I, I journal from time to time and I wrote this out in my journal and I'm gonna go super vulnerable here and share something that I don't regularly share with anyone, but uh, it's something I committed to. And so I wrote it out for me and I put, being whole looks like going through every single day and feeling like I tended to my proverbial farm. Uh, so I have what I call a proverbial farm and every single Monday at the start of the week, I always say, I gotta go and work that farm. Uh, one of my mentors actually shared that with me. But I put meaning, I looked after my mind, so I'm feeding it with knowledge. I'm someone who enjoys learning and so I need to make sure that my mind is learning something. Uh, my body, so working out and making sure I'm eating well my relationship with Kadesia, my wife, and so just making sure that there is some quality time put in there, um, whether it's that day or that week. Um, my work, so really moving our purpose forward, right? Thinking about the work that I do in education. Uh, my goals that I have, so every single day I try and take, even if it's small, just an incremental step forward on those. Uh, my relationship with God, so making sure I made the time each day to pray and give thanks uh, for everything that he's doing in my life and for my life. Uh, being whole feels like I'm filled with gratitude, right? So I wanted to dig into the feelings there because that's what it looked like, but here's what it really felt like for me. The feeling of being filled with gratitude, generosity and kindness to myself and to others, having that come naturally, having love flowing to me and through me and the things that have the potential to throw in a wrench in my day, uh, they don't move me. I almost don't even give them any attention. I feel like I'm living in a movie or a dream and I don't want it to end. I am lacking nothing and desiring of nothing because I need and want everything that I need and want I already have or is being magnetized towards me. So I'm not putting in all this extra effort to get to it, it is coming. Um, and I closed with uh, I am whole and I look and feel like I'm whole and now I know what it looks and feels like on a daily basis to me. Uh, what it looks like and feels like to you is personal. What does that wholeness look like or feel like? But the concept of wholeness means that you're lacking nothing. And so would encourage you to take the time to really reflect on that. It was really centering for me to know that these are the things that are important. And because I know these are the things that are important to make a good day or a good week, that these are the things that I need to continue to practice um, and know that if I'm not feeling whole or I have this emptiness, that I can just go through that and evaluate, hey, wh where am I not spending that time? Where am I not putting in that energy or that effort? Or is it okay? Like, let me not beat myself up about this, right? It's about that kindness and the compassion uh, to me and to others. And so maybe I missed it for a day or I missed it for a week, but I can go back and get to it. And it's something that I am in control of. So uh, just want to say a thank you again. It is something that I do religiously every single week because I do not take your time or your attention for granted. Um, we're now at almost 3,900 subscribers to The Learning Loop. And I just can't thank you all enough for continuing to engage and share with other people who are committed to accelerating their learning and continuing to move their education forward. So go out there and get after it.